Hello. In this video, we can learn hybridization, bonding, and structural effects in organic molecules. Hybridization, mixing and recasting of atomic orbitals of the same atom with different size, shape to a new set of equivalent orbitals with same size, shape, and energy is known as hybridization and new orbitals formed known as hybrid orbitals the types of hybridization possible in case of carbon atom sp3 hybridization sp2 hybridization and sp hybridization sp3 hybridization if one s atomic orbital and three p atomic orbitals of an atom mix to form a set of four new equivalent orbitals is known as sp3 hybridization at ground state level electronic configuration of carbon 2s atomic orbital carries a pair of electron 2px carries one electron 2py carries one electron while 2pz is an empty orbital at excited state one electron from 2s atomic orbital should be shifted in 2pz and that's why 2s 2px 2py and 2pz carries unpaired electrons and these four orbitals that is a s atomic orbital and 3p atomic orbitals they can combine to form a set of new four atomic orbitals that is 2s atomic orbital combines with 2px 2py and 2pz to form sp3 hybrid orbitals that is four new orbitals are formed here geometry is a tetrahedral then bond angle is 109.5 degree and s character is 25 percent and this sp3 hybrid carbon atom it forms a four bonds four covalent bonds or four sigma bonds with other atoms or orbitals then sp2 hybridization if one s atomic orbital and two p atomic orbitals of an atom mix to form a set of three new equivalent orbitals is known as sp2 hybridization then electronic configuration similarly at ground state level at excited state level then here the 1s atomic orbital and 2p atomic orbitals that is px and py they can combine to form a sp2 hybrid orbitals while the 2pz atomic orbital it remains an hybrid orbital means 2s 2px and 2py they combine to form a sp2 hybrid orbitals these are the three lobes are formed here or three new orbitals are formed in the s 2pz atomic orbital it remains unhybridized geometry is a trigonal planar then the bond angle is 120 degree and uh, s character is a 33.33 percent in case of sp2 hybrid carbon atom it forms three sigma bonds while one pi bond by a lateral overlapping means here unhybrid orbital that take part in a lateral overlapping to form a pi bond then sp hybridization if one s atomic orbital and one p atomic orbital of an atom mixed to form a set of new two equivalent orbitals is known as sp hybridization again here at excited state 2s carries one 2px carries one 2py carries one and 2pz carries one electron and then here 1s that is the 2s atomic orbital and 2px atomic orbital they can combine to form sp hybrid orbitals while here 2py and 2pz they remain unhybridized that is the 2s atomic orbital combines with uh, the 2px and then it forms a sp2 hybrid orbitals these are the two sp2 hybrid orbitals geometry is a linear geometry and bond angle is 180 degree this 2pz and 2py they remain unhybridized so sp hybrid carbon atom it forms two sigma bonds while the 2pz and 2py involved in a lateral overlapping to form a two pi bonds here and that's why the sp hybrid carbon atom it forms a carbon carbon triple bond or the triple bond can be formed here then next is covalent bond within that sharing of electron pair between two atomic orbitals is known as a covalent bond for example formation of meth methane sp3 hybrid orbitals of carbon they each orbital carries a one electron and then they can vice with four 
yes atomic orbitals four yes atomic orbitals of hydrogen to form a methane molecule here then structural effects there are six structural effects are possible or observed in uh, organic uh, molecules one is a inductive effect second one is a resonance or mesomeric effect third one is a steric effect fourth one is a hyperconjugative effect fifth one is a tautomerism and last one is a hydrogen bonding then inductive effect the polarization induced in a adjacent bond due to polarization present in one bond is known as a inductive effect now first we know the polar bond means the homoatomic bonds or homoatomic molecules when the bond can be formed between these two same atoms or the two atoms having nearly same electron negativity then equal sharing of electron pair takes place in a covalent bond but suppose one atom is more electronegative than the other then the, it pulls electron density towards itself that's why there should be polarization means the electronegative atom that acquires a partially negative charge while other acquires a partially positive charge in this case the bromine is electronegative it pulls the electron pair that's why it carries the partially negative charge while then carbon atom it becomes a partially positive charge or electron deficient and when this carbon becomes electron deficient it pulls the electron density from adjacent carbon atom and then in this way this carbon becomes again electro positive that pulls the electron from again adjacent carbon atom and in this way the polarization present in one bond it should be induced into adjacent carbon carbon sigma framework and that can be termed as a inductive effect and in case of inductive effect as distance increases the intensity of inductive effect goes on decreasing means here here maximum positive charge should present that decreases positive charge as we go away from the polar bond here then the significance of inductive effect it is a permanent effect it operates through sigma bond it decreases with increasing distance from polar bond here then there are two types of inductive effects one is electron donating inductive effect and second one is electron withdrawing inductive effect in case of electron donating inductive effect the atoms or groups which increases electron density around carbon are known are the electron donating inductive effect or plus i effect for example the oxygen carrying negative charge that is o minus ion carboxylate ion or methyl or all alkyl groups they shows the plus i effect means they donates the electron pair or electrons in a inductive and so that the electron density on carbon atom should be increased here and such groups can be termed as a electron donating groups in a inductive effect then electron withdrawing inductive effect the atoms or groups of the atoms which decreases electron density around carbon is known as the electron withdrawing inductive effect minus i effect the groups generally oh carboxylate then all halogen atoms then the nitro or all unsaturated groups generally they shows a minus i effect they shows the minus i effect for example in this case bromine is electron withdrawing that's why it shows a minus i effect as hybridization that changes from sp3 to sp the sp3 hybrid carbon atom it shows plus i effect electron donating inductive effect while sp2 hybrid and sp hybrid carbon atoms they shows the minus i that is electron withdrawing inductive effect then difference between electron donating and electron withdrawing inductive effect negatively charged group show the stronger plus i effect than the neutral groups while the positively charged group they show the stronger minus i effect than neutral groups then minor uh, plus i effect increases with the decreasing electronegativity of atom while the electron withdrawing inductive effect that increases with increase in electronegativity of atom then electron donating group inductive effect increases with increasing alkyl groups while the electron withdrawing inductive effect increases with increasing electron negative atoms electron donating inductive effect decreases with increase in s character while electron withdrawing inductive effect that increases with increase in s character and these are the 
some groups which shows the electron donating inductive effect while these are the some groups which shows the electron withdrawing inductive effect then resonance or mesomeric effect delocalization of pi or non bonded electrons through conjugated system is known as a resonance or mesomeric effect for example if we consider but 3e and 2o ane in this case the conjugated system is present means suppose we can say that the two double bonds if these are separated by one single bond then such system can be termed as a conjugated system here in this case the carbon carbon double bond that is in conjugation with a carbonyl group as a carbonyl group is a polar group that's why pi electrons are shifted on oxygen atom then the carbon carries positive charge while this oxygen carries a negative charge here then suppose this pi electrons are shifted here and then we get double bond here this carbon carries a positive charge and a negative charge remains on the oxygen atom these are the three canonical forms and this is the resonance hybrid means molecule exists in a resonance hybrid resonance significance resonance or canonical forms differ only in the pi or non bonded electrons but relative position of atoms remains constant it is hypothetical that is molecule exist in a resonance hybrid form due to resonance strength of bonds increases which increases stability of molecule that is as number of resonance or canonical forms increases stability of molecule increases then the types of resonance effect there are two types of resonance effect electron donating resonance effect the atoms or groups which donates electron by delocalization which was the plus r effect that is electron donating resonance effect example hydroxy then nh2 or alkoxy nr2 sh etc means the groups which carries the non bonding electrons generally they shows the plus r effect electron withdrawing resonance effect the atoms or groups which pulls electron by delocalization they shows the minus r that is electron withdrawing resonance effect and example carboxylic aldehyde carbonyl that is ketone nitrile nitro etc or all unsaturated groups they shows electron withdrawing resonance effect then rules for writing resonance forms each molecule or ion exists in a resonance hybrid form the resonance hybrid is more stable than any individual resonance form resonance forms do not have to contribute equally to resonance hybrid means the more stable resonance form or canonical form that contributes maximum to resonance hybrid all resonance structures must bona fide lewis structures only delocalizable electrons or pi electron or lone pair of electron move between the resonance forms sigma bonds are never broken or made because of this atom must maintain their same position that is relative position of atom remains constant all resonance contributors must have same molecular formula and net charge then if we see the writing of resonance structure for example if we consider the phenol in phenol hydroxy group it is electron rich group means lone pair of electrons should be present on oxygen that's why it shows the electron donating resonance effect if we write a resonance structures electron pair should be donated here to form a double bond between oxygen and the carbon then these pi electrons are shifted at ortho position that's why ortho carbon carries a negative charge and then oxygen carries a positive charge next this negative charge should be shifted here and then we get a negative charge that goes at para position here in next it again goes at another ortho position and we have these four resonance forms and finally the negative charge shifted here and again the oxygen acquires its lone pair of electron in this way the five resonance forms or canonical forms are formed and the molecule should be exist in a resonance hybrid resonating structures for benzaldehyde now here in benzaldehyde carbonyl group it is electron withdrawing group that's why it shows electron withdrawing resonance effect means it pulls the electron pair on oxygen then the ortho carbon carries a positive charge and oxygen carries a negative charge in next again the positive charge goes at para position again it goes at another ortho position and finally we have a resonance structure 
that is the five resonance structures and this is an a resonance hybrid then next effect is the hyperconjugation hyperconjugation is the stabilization or stabilizing interaction that results from the interaction of the electrons in a sigma bond usually alpha carbon hydrogen with an adjacent empty or partially filled p orbital or a pi orbital to give an extended molecular orbital that increases the stability of molecule or simply we can that delocalization of uh, the sigma electrons through conjugated system that is known as a hyper conjugation now in this case there are three alpha hydrogen atoms are present and that's why one of the car alpha carbon hydrogen bond should be broken and sigma electrons are delocalized here this oxygen atom carries a negative charge in this way again it negative charge goes as para position again it goes at ortho position and finally the bond with hydrogen should be formed and we have these resonance forms or the chemical structures due to hyper conjugation as the number of hyperconjugate structures increases the increases with increase in number of alpha hydrogen atom and as the number of hyperconjugate structures increases stability of molecule also increases for example if you consider the alkenes that is 2 methyl 1 butene and 2 methyl 2 butene in case of 2 methyl 1 butene there are five alpha hydrogen atoms that's why five hyperconjugate structures are possible for this first molecule while for the second molecule the nine alpha hydrogen atoms are present here and that's why it has the nine structures and that's why second structure or second molecule is more stable as compared to the next effect is a tautomerism when two interconvertible isomers coexist in equilibrium with each other is known as a tautomerism and the isomers are termed as a tautomers now in this tautomers they differ in electron dis electron distribution as well as position of a relatively small atom such as a hydrogen hence phenomenon it is known as a prototropy for example if we consider the keto enol tautomerism this is the keto form then this alpha hydrogen atom forms a double bond here and then that should be shifted on a oxygen atom means when the oxygen carries negative charge it should be attached to hydrogen and we get a enol form and this can be termed as a keto enol tautomerism similarly this is nitro form again here alpha hydrogen atom should be shifted here on oxygen atom and we get the acid nitro form that is about the tautomerism and the last structural effect is a hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding is a special type of dipole dipole attraction between molecules if hydrogen atom covalently bonded to highly electronegative atom such as nitrogen oxygen or fluorine it acquires partially positive charge and the attractive force between electropositive hydrogen and electronegative atom is known as hydrogen bonding there are two types of hydrogen bonding one is intramolecular hydrogen bonding and the second one is intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding for example if we consider a water molecule water is a polar molecule in that case within a two molecules the hydrogen it carries the partially positive charge oxygen carries partially negative charge an electrostatic force of attraction between electropositive hydrogen and this oxygen here the hydrogen bond can be formed and within two different molecule therefore it is a intermolecular hydrogen bonding while if we say the conjugate base of a salicylic acid in that case the oxygen carries the negative charge and this hydrogen carries a po delta positive charge and there is a electrostatic force of attraction should be present within a same molecule therefore it can be termed as a intramolecular hydrogen bonding in this video we have discussed about hybridization then second about the bonding then six structural effect inductive effect resonance effect steric effect hyperconjugative effect tautomerism and finally we have discussed about the hydrogen bonding